So if you've been watching this video of my cousin's Mach 1, it's been several years since it was running. It just got a new engine with 39,000 miles on it, 38, something like that on it. And uh, I made a video of our Mach 1s together. And uh, my cousin is finally getting the car back after several years of not running. If you've seen the story of his black bullet number 140 it's on my channel unfortunately this car is gone it had a rod knock and we haven't seen it ever since it was towed away and uh, this was a really fun car for him to have it's right when he was getting into mustangs and stuff and this is a old picture of all of us together my blue bullets there next to his and uh he would come over to my house all the time with the bullet. We used to work at the same place and cruise together. We were bullet buddies for life is what we called each other. And this is when we did the mid-length Bassani headers on it in my side yard at my old house and stuff. So that was a lot of fun. He had that at the same time that he bought this Red Mach 1 in 2014. And it was a beautiful car when he brought it home. And so, unfortunately, it's been years since it's been sitting with a rod knock. And he finally got the engine back. So he sent me this picture and said, this is it. I got my car back. It was about four hours away. So um, where it was being kept at a shop uh, up north. And so he was on his way. He finally went and picked up the car and he had traveled all day to bring it back to the town we both live in now. And uh, he called me and said he was close. So I just hung out with some ice cream in a camp chair and waited for him to come. And here he comes. What do we have here? That was from the trip. Yeah, we that was from Becky's. the trip when we went when we went to Mississippi. The truck got it. Yeah, got a little bit of paint oxidation. Yeah, peeling off. There she is. Yeah. I'll put back together and going. Yeah, it does sound good. It's real fun to meet up with him. My brother Danny came over and that was fun too. Uh, when he drives off here, there's a power wheel street on the sidewalk, so that's what that noise is. It's not his car making the weird noise. So we just wanted to go to the park here. It's just a couple blocks away and hang out and stuff and do a little bit of a walk around on the car. You can see the clear coat's gone on the bumper and the paint's peeling pretty bad. But 
The uh, car looks pretty good, has some aftermarket fog lights in there. The rest of the paint actually looks really nice for what it is. And you saw that uh, when he went back to do some sales in Mississippi, he got that rock chip from following too close to a semi truck. And uh, a little bit of oxidation here, as we've seen in some of the recent Mach 1 videos I've been making of another Torch Red Mach 1. And my Torch Red Mach 1 was starting to do that a little bit too. But a little bit of oxidation here on the roof. Clear coat starting to fail a little bit. The car's been sitting out for like five years or so with the rod knock. And the seats are really nice. We'll look inside here in a second. But the rest of the car is in actually really good shape considering, I, you know, with it sitting so long, I thought this car was just going to be flaking off paint. But it looks actually nice. I'm, I'm pretty pleased with it. I'm surprised for a car that was outside for so long in the elements. It had snow sitting on it too up in northern Utah where it was sitting at the shop. It has bullet wheels on it because his Mach 1 wheels were on his bullet when the bullet got uh, towed away when it had its rod knock and stuff. So that's why it has bullet wheels but it has new tires. But look at these seats. Bolster wear is not bad for 165,000 miles or 170 or so now. And the engine has like 38,000 but we're just thrilled he has it back. My mom offered to take both of our families out to dinner. It was so nice of her to do that. And she was just happy that he had his car back and stuff.
I got the blue on mine too, look. In the, in the, in the license plate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. A little bit of blue on mine too. Watch out, guys. So that was so fun to get the two Mach 1s and go to dinner together and hang out and cruise together again. It's been a little while since we've been able to do this. A lot of fun. That was just his wife honking at him. So that was a really fun day and evening. I didn't think that this would happen for a long time, so I'm very excited for him. Very happy that he has his car back. It's been a long time. He's been waiting a long time for this, and it's fun that we get to do car stuff again together. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video, and stay tuned for more Mustang content.